I'm a 26-year veteran of the same high school I built when it was built, Brook Point High School, and I'm a 30-year veteran here in the county, uh, state of Virginia. I have put, my husband and I are putting two children through school, and what we have been making is not helping. We don't go on vacations. We pay for our paper and our pencils through our own slightly minimized paychecks. We live in Stafford County. We want to pay the taxes so that we can go on a vacation sometime. Be nice to go on a vacation. It would be. But with two kids in college, I work two extra jobs. Mr. Cavalier sees me every Friday night, every Tuesday and Thursday for baseball games. I am working every home event at Brook Point High School I have for the last 12 years to supplement. Now we're trying to save so we can go on a vacation. It'd be nice because we don't get to do that very often. We are two public school teachers. We're in Stafford County. We would like for you all to consider seriously the dollar four help us survive putting two kids from college at the same time because they have said well may maybe we become educators we're like uh-uh uh-uh not paying for you to go to college become a teacher and see what we're going through it's not fair we're putting you through college so that you will be successful because they have great they've had great teachers I push them to go to Brook Point High School with me I forced them they were supposed to go to Mountain View they came out top of their classes, very happy with the teachers they have. And if they were still in school, I'd still put them there. We have so many teachers that leave. It's not fair. After 26 years in the same school, I am not considered a veteran. I'm not, because I'm constantly helping new teachers come through. I don't even have time for my own students. I was outside today, 50 degree weather, trying to grade papers, because I teach extra classes to supplement for this, the math department. We don't have enough teachers, and my class sizes are outrageous. It's not fair, but a dollar four might help us go on vacation sometime. <laughs> Thank you. So I hope that you as the Board of Supervisors and the Board of Education can make something work because it's hard. I, I have a file of signs here that I wanted. I wasn't planning on speaking. But I have a master's degree and 20 years experience, and my husband makes three times my pay, and he doesn't have a degree. Not that he doesn't deserve it. He served his country. But I serve this country, and so do all these people here. I have more injuries, work-related injuries, than my husband has ever sustained, and he was in battle three separate times. I wish you all well, and um, hopefully you'll vote, and we can work something out, because Stafford County really is a great place. I just wish educators were more valued. Thank you. Um, I just need to say that teaching is my calling in life, and I've been teaching for 25 years, 18 of which have been in Stafford County. Uh, I am currently an English teacher of 173 students. I teach middle school. I work at least 12 hours per day and answer parent and student emails after that 12-hour day is done. I worry about my students, and I pray for them each day. My children attended Stafford County Public Schools, and they all received a quality education by teachers that gave them every bit of time and energy that they had. Currently, I spend much of my own money on students, which is extremely difficult for me, especially since, according to my budget and inflation, I bring in less money than I did 10 years ago. And I am having a very hard time making ends meet even though I tutor and teach summer school. I have a great husband, and he currently travels two hours to and from work to help compensate our budget because I love what I do in a county that I fell in love with. I am willing to spend all of my time and effort on my students because I value each and every one of them, and I would do anything for them. 
even put my life on the line for them. I'm hoping that Stafford County Public um, employees are valued enough to fully fund the budget. Thank you very much.